You're exactly right. And there, there's a lot of interesting sort of anthropological arguments of how humans evolved to be able to have, you know, bigger brains and, and cover more distance and all of that. But your point about both digestion absorption and bioavailability are exactly on target. All of the vitamins and minerals that we get from consuming animal foods are all in very highly digestible forms and very bioavailability, bioavailable. If we take protein, for example, uh, proteins that are contained in plants at best are about 65% absorbed. So while the plant may have X amount of essential amino acids, you're only absorbing 65% of it because you simply can't digest it. It's bound up to the fiber matrix. And that's true whether you're talking about B6 or whether you're talking about vitamin A or vitamin D they're all, or zinc, whatever. They're all bound to fibers. I mean, the, the idea, I mean, the plant doesn't have nutrients in it for our benefit. The plant has nutrients in it for the plant's benefit. So that means it's integrated into the structure of the plant. And the issue is we can't break that down. One of the one of the beauties of a ruminant animal like a cow or a beef animal or a sheep or a goat is they have a ruminant stomach that can actually break those fibers down and get the nutrients from it. Cattle are what we call an upcycler of nutrients. So they can take an extremely poor diet of grass and silage and, and even waste products from cotton milling, and they can basically make high-quality protein or milk out of it. So they're great upcyclers of poor quality diets to make human high quality diets.